Hi guys, Jordan O'Neill here, Wheel Castle Decorating. Uh, I'm on a job here today and um, I'm doing a whole stir in London. Uh, there is a great bit of work in this job. Um, I'm doing a video on painting panel wood here. And uh, I've done this job, I can't remember, five, six years ago. Uh, you can see here, uh, the green shade here, it's a fire and wall colour and uh, this was all done in uh, oil based. It was originally the dark brown wood, you know, obviously you had to sand it, prime it, whatever. Uh, so the customers changed the colour to uh, a fire and ball colour and I'm using Scuff-X um, Benjamin Muir. Uh, so it's the first time I've used this stuff. And, uh, you know, I've been looking forward actually to putting it on, to be honest with you. Uh, I've had a good, uh, a good bit of feedback on it and uh, it is supposed to be very, very good paint. And as you can see, I've already done a bit here on this wood. So I've done the, uh, the squares here on the insides. And uh, I have to say, you know, first impression. First thing about this this stuff is you um if you're going over another surface that's been painted, uh as long as it's in good uh condition, you don't need a primer or undercoat. That's the first thing about it. Um as you can see here, if you look there you can see a few wee bits and pieces that I've touched up with sensor primer. A few wee chips and stuff there, so uh, you know, if you ever come across that, if you're going to use this, obviously you have to touch up any wee burnt bits with a primer. And basically, sand it all down, give the paint a wee key, dust it down, and it's basically ready for painting. So what I'm doing with the middle panel is cutting it in, rolling it, laying it off. And uh, obviously it's important, you know, when you're working with a water-based paint like this, that you have to leave a wet edge all the time, you know. I mean, you're doing uh, panels like this, it is difficult to do that. Um, so I'm going to, for me, this is the best way to do this. And the way I do this, uh, it's the same method doing hand paint the kitchens and furniture, you know. You can only do it in sections. And uh, you can't just start painting all around, you know what I mean? Because the paint does go off. This stuff does dry fairly quickly, you know. So you do need to be uh, very careful with it, you know, when, especially when you're doing this type of work. And... Uh, yeah, so basically what I'm doing this whole story, I'm, I'm redoing all the wood, the panel wood. Uh, I'm in, redoing the, the doors here, as you can see, the doors and frames. They have had a, a fresh coat of, um, I'm using Benjamin Weir Advance uh, satin. And um, so uh, I've put a fresh coat in those but to get a finished coat. And uh, it's strong white, colour strong white. So the best way to go about doing these panels, very, very straightforward. So as you can see, I've most of them done. I've left one, I've left one panel here to do, you know. I'm not going to do a video and show you how to paint every panel. But what I do, I do feel is important is how to do it and how to do these edges, which is, you know. Uh, so for me, do the inside squares first. That's the best way to do it, okay? Um, so what I'm using here is... I have a couple of brushes here, an inch and a half, a wee size two there, uh, and a wee roller for the panels. Okay, so here we go. Uh, straightforward, not a problem with us here at all. The pest says the first time I've used this scuff, I was very happy with it. And uh, yeah, now apparently this here is as good as a two, a two pack paint, you know. Doesn't scuff, doesn't mark, real hard finish. So I not really know, uh, you know, obviously, for a way, you know, how hard work pans out, but already with the first coat, you know, as I say, I only done this here about an hour ago. It's touch dry, looks really good, you know, covers well, again, usual. I also look out for uh, the finished job on it, hard goes on, um, it goes on well with a brush and a roller, lays off very well. And colours well, you know. So anyway, so when you're doing these wee panels here, look, you have a wee edge in here, four wee edges. Just cut into those, 
Okay, don't don't go over those. Because if you go over those, or you're going to bring your paint onto these wee strips, and then by the time you get around, you, you you don't want any, you don't want to overlap any edges at all. So just cut into these here edges first. Uh, again, straightforward, good brush. Just go into the wee bit there. So you can just see our right cut in uh, on the four edges and basically just roll it uh, with your good quality roll, good sleeve and uh, give it a wee roll. And you can see it goes on really well. Now, as I say, I've done this wheel before so it is a good, pretty good condition. Uh, it's smooth and um, yeah, you can just glaze over it. There you have it, and as soon as you roll it, just get your your wee brush there and lay off the the roll marks very lightly. smooth finish. Uh, so, if you have a look at all those wee panels, so if all the middle sections done, okay. <coughs> so, how do you go about doing this here? The, you know, all the flat bits here, okay. Pretty straightforward. Bring your two edges, or a straight edge down here. The wee sides too, just cut the wee edge in, bring it down and cut a straight line under the join here, okay? That, that's basically it. Same with the far end there too. You can see we've done that there, okay? So you have a join there. Use your wee brush, bring that wee edge in, you have three wee edges there, hit that in first, don't go onto the panel, cut an edge in down here and just brush it in. Now, whenever you do that there, uh, so basically what I do is the two side edges first, then the two, the top one, then the bottom one, then the bars will go down this way, and then the ones will go across. Now, it does sound complicated, but again, whenever you, you get it, you, you know what you're doing, uh, it really is. It, it just means then you've always a wet edge with your paint, and I say always cut it off at the join. So I'll show you actually how to do that there. See this wee piece at the top here, this wee bar at the top. Again, this wee brush here, and uh, just the wee edge in underneath here. That's all it takes. It, it isn't that hard, it really isn't. You have four of these going along here. You have a wee join there, and that's where you cut, that's when you, 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 whenever you're bringing the paint across here, just bring it across that wee join. Right, a wee bit. There's actually five wee panels here. So that's a wee stand on the glasses. So you just two more here. And though the 
this sounds complicated the way I'm doing this, but for me, it's the only way to do it properly. You know, as I say, it's the same method as when you're doing hand painted kitchens and uh, furniture and stuff like that there. So where's that wee edge done in underneath there? Okay. Just hit the five of those wee bits in. And then just here, just bring that across. Uh, so you have a wee join here, okay? Just bring your brush across or under that join, okay? I mean, saying you can do these here, Sabbath. So if you can see what I'm talking about, you know, you bring these ones across, you have a join here, you have a join here. These are separate than these, you know? Bring this here one across. Just lay it off lightly. So you can see where I cut that wee edge and across that wee join there. And just bring that right across. around for you so that you can see it And there you have it. So, you see, just bring a top edge across. That bottom one's already done there. The one across here is done too. And then you do your bottom bar. Okay, so that's your top and two sides. Uh, it is, honestly, it, it really is straightforward, but it is the only way that you can do this here. When you're doing this type of work, this panel work, you know. And obviously it has to get another coat as well. Um, also, um, I'll just get this wee camera off here and show you what else I have to do in this job. So also what I have to do is, um, I'll just show you here. Okay, so there you go. I'll just show you closely, a close-up on that there. By the way, see that side here? That shows you how quick this stuff dries. That's why it's important you have to do these here separately. There's your join where you cut it off. Here, here, okay? And there's it going right across there, you see? Just cut it off there. And then you do these here separate. You have a join there, you have a join there. Just bring your brush, cut it off, do your two edges in at each side, cut it off at each join, you know? So of all this here to do here, around here, around this wee fireplace, all those doors, again, have all had a coat. Uh, yeah, all the way down here, as you can see, all around here. It's a big hall, so there's plenty of it to do. I say that's where it was all spot primed. There was a few wee chips came out of the wood. And it goes up onto the landing, okay. These wee spindles here, um, uh, they've all been primed again. Uh, they were this wood. Uh, color. They were just basically varnish, so I'll put the sensor on those and uh, move up there. Now I've, uh, the walls are all cross lined up there. And anyway, there's the wallpaper for the job. Twenty-seven inch in width wallpaper. It's a pre-pasted wall. 
and I'll do a wee video of that as well. Anyway, so there you go. So if you have any questions on this uh, panel wood, you know, hand painted, certainly uh, get back to me and uh, I'll certainly help you out if you, need, if you have any questions on preparation or anything else. Okay, thanks guys, bye.